Hey everybody over at Movies.com, it is the Schmoes No Movie Show, I'm Christian. And I am Mark. Christian, this weekend in theaters we're going out to the high seas and we're taking on modern day pirates with Captain Phillips. Captain Phillips starring Tom Hanks and we are excited because, yeah, it's a Tom Hanks movie and he gets to play someone of authority as a captain, true story. But it also gives us an excuse to start thinking about the greatest movie captains in the history of film. Look, there's been a lot of great lieutenants, there's been a lot of great lieutenants. <laughs> yes, Mark. Yes, they have. Look, there's been a lot of great lieutenants over the years, a lot of great colonels, even some really nice privates. But captain is probably the most popular thing in movie history when you're talking about military terms, right? Yes, and my favorite private was probably Sharon Stone. In, oh, oh sorry, come on, no. Okay, here we go. We're going to talk about the best captains in movie history. Mark, what do you got at number five? Number five is uh, you got to go way deep under the sea. Captain Phillips is up here on the surface, but you need a submarine to go below, and maybe there's a giant squid attacking it. What? Captain Nemo from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Yeah, and eventually they're going to do a remake, so it's going to be fun to see who they cast as the great Captain Nemo. you got to be able yeah. to grow a beard. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting, interesting to see who they cast. Yeah, who is Captain Nemo? Is he good? Is he bad? We don't know. Jules Verne knows the answer. Number four would be Captain Jack Sparrow uh, from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Four of these movies that Johnny Depp has basically taken Keith Richards, turned him into a pirate, and he became a captain. <laughs> Keith Richards is his daddy, and that's right. Four Pirates of the Caribbean movies, more to come, and a couple of them are even watchable. But Johnny Depp, when he came on the, in the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie, just such a great character, yeah. overtook everything. Didn't he, he got nominated for awards? He was so good. I think he movie. was nominated for an Oscar for yeah. the first one. But it's again, he has become an iconic character, uh, one Captain Jack Sparrow. You see every Halloween. All right, number three then, what do you got? Number three is, I'd rather have Jack Sparrow as a pirate to hang out with than this other guy. Why are there so many pirates that get the name Captain? I guess it's yeah. their boat. Captain Hook, ladies and gentlemen, from Peter Pan. And then also Dustin Hoffman played him in the live-action Steven Spielberg film Hook. Yes, Captain Hook, uh, he was the foil to Peter Pan. Has a hook because he was trying to get Peter Pan. Got his hand bit off by a, a crocodile, I believe. Yeah. So And he's, he's just not a good guy. He's a mean guy, but he is the captain of his ship. He's got a band of pirates to follow him, and then he's number three. And come on, he's got a hook. He's got to be some sort of authority figure. Number two, someone who's an authority figure for all the Avengers, and that is Captain America. He is the captain of the red, white, and blue, but he's also the guy who runs the superhero. Super genetically enhanced... Chris Evans. Look, in the 40s, he took a lot of steroids, he got really buff, and he saved the world from Nazis. And then in the Avengers, he kind of was a nice balancing act to Robert De Niro's Tony Stark. Mm -hmm. Robert De Niro wasn't Tony Stark. It's that right. was Robert Downey Jr. You want to see me in this costume? <laughs> I can fly. We're not captains of anything. Boom. Boom. Captain America fighting for justice. Good guy. Doesn't hit number one, though. Who could beat him at at number one? Well, Captain America is great on Earth, and even when aliens attack Earth, Captain America is very useful. However, sometimes captains go from here into the reaches of space, and that would be the legend, Captain Kirk. And you could take the good William Shatner, the great William Shatner, yeah, as on. Captain Kirk, and Chris Pine, who has taken another uh, incarnation of, Look, this, of this character. I love these new Star Trek movies with Chris Pine in them. The reason why Captain Kirk is number one is obviously the Priceline sure. guy, Bill Shatner. It's the character as well, too, is the fact that he is he he's not a straight, he's not this, just a normal cab. He takes chances, he makes risks, and his, and his, uh, his crew follows him into the depths of space because he's a badass. That's not why he's number one. Why? He hooks up with hot green aliens. Come uh, on. Yeah, he's not, not afraid to do that. All right, honorable mention, Christian. Are there any other captains that we left off the list that you think should have been on there? Captain Ron. Are there any other captains you think oh. should have been on the list? I love Kurt Russell wearing an eye patch, but I prefer him as Snake Plissken. How about this? Tom Hanks yeah. is playing Captain Phillips yeah. in the movie coming out this weekend, right? Mm -hmm. He's also played another captain in movie history. Who is it? Oh, from Saving Private Ryan. Captain Miller from yeah. Saving Private Ryan didn't quite crack the list. Who oh. do you guys think should have been in the top five? Captain Reynolds from Firefly. Who do you guys think no should have been in the top five? This is top five in movie history. You're I throwing Firefly at me? That's a good one. Anyway, all right, that's it. Comment below. Tell us what you think. Make sure you see Captain Phillips this weekend in the theaters for Movies.com. Christian Harloff. I'm Mark Ellis. You also have Machete Kills this weekend. So. Oh. Yeah. He's Maybe he hijacks the boat. <laughs>